Okay, how many kids have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a busy day at Button's Daycare Nursery in West London. For an hour, one person is looking after 13 young children. Okay, so everybody's sitting down quietly. But this nursery assistant is in fact an undercover BBC journalist. At 21, Imogen Wilcox was one of the oldest staff. She has no childcare qualifications and started at Buttons without checks on criminal records or references. She's eating the pizza, she's got allergy. She's not allowed to eat that. As well. Ugh. At times, she says she found inexperienced, low paid staff struggling to cope, and her secret filming showed that. Wow. Stop. Every day, man, it's the same story of this child. Oh. Go to sleep. Oh, don't do the whistleblower programme also speaks to an inspector for Ofsted, the body which checks the quality of such care. The inspector, who doesn't want to be identified, claims their reports aren't worth the paper they're written on. We are told consistently and constantly, if you go in and you don't see a problem, don't look for one. Get in there, take a quick look and get out. Targets take priority over safeguarding of children. Ofsted makes 70,000 visits a year to check the places and people caring for children. It is adamant its inspections are rigorous. Uh, we go in uh, without fear or favour. We uh, publish uh, the reports just as we find them. Overall, um, we find something like 4% of provision is inadequate, and we say so if we find it's inadequate. Button's daycare nursery says it will investigate the allegations, but insists it provides a safe, happy and stimulating environment for children. And it points to favourable Ofsted reports. Nevertheless, the issues raised will concern many parents trying to find the right care for their child. Alison Holt, BBC News.